Hey guys, so this is my actual first uh, video I'm going to put up on YouTube about painting and um, I have no idea how this is going to turn out because I've been doing pours but um, as of this point I'm trying something a little bit different today. I've got um, right here it's a Valspar and this is uh, Montana Moss. I've never been to Montana but apparently that's the color that the moss turns out to be. And in Bear Ultra, it is, uh, what do we got here? Rainwater. So Montana moss, rainwater, and uh, tart orange. I love this color. It's so warm, uh, energetic, vibrant. I love it. And then I've got some old house paint. This right here um, is... It's graceful white. And this one, um, this is an old house paint that we use, and it's an enamel. I don't even know if this is going to work, but we're going to try. And here we go. But one thing I did want to say, so if you're new, I'm new. I just started, uh, it's probably like my 10th painting. If you are new, there's hope. I want to show you my first, first painting and then my last painting. So in just seven or eight paintings I went from this and it's not bad it's not great it's not my favorite but there's no cells it didn't do what I wanted I didn't know to cover the edges and it just didn't work out well and then just a few paintings trying something out this is my last one and this was much more what I was looking for. I love the blues and then the, the oranges here. I just think that's absolutely beautiful. But this is much more along the lines of what I was looking for. So if you're brand new, just keep going. You'll, you'll figure it out. All right, so, um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the hammer technique. And what that is is we cover the whole thing with this white. And there's a consistency well, no, I think that's actually a little bit too much now that I look at it. Yeah, it's a little bit too thick. So we're going to go ahead and add some of our, some of our, this is what I use. It's a, I went to um, Sean Williams when I first started watching Anne-Marie Rudolph. I think I'm going to, I know I butchered that last name, but. Um, she really inspired me and so I wanted to do something and I wanted to have I wanted to have the um, The ability to paint right away. And so I asked the dude I was like, okay, I really need Floetrol and they didn't carry Floetrol because they're a Sherman Williams. They carry whatever Sherman Williams carries and um, And so he told me this was just like Floetrol. Well, it's nothing like Floetrol, but it works and so I'm very excited about that. Um, I use a, a baby dropper here. And um, just grab enough. People kept saying, add a, uh, just add a couple drops of this or that. And I couldn't figure out how much a drop was. Could not figure it out. And so instead of, um, you know, trying to tilt my jar and, and, um, and get it set like that, I just figured that it would be easier to get a baby dropper, stop worrying about it, get it more, I don't know, more precise. And let's see, is this any better? Uh, that's much better, much, much better. Okay, so I'm going to cover the whole canvas with this. And um, this is just a, an old canvas. Uh, we just did a vacation Bible school at our church. And uh, this is one of the ones that somebody didn't take home. So it's getting painted over, and this is a uh, this is a cardboard, a cotton canvas panel, eight by ten. Um, this is a perfect thing to practice on because I have no idea how this is going to turn out. So if you want to try out the hammer technique, but you don't want to, I don't know, waste supplies. I'm happy to do it for you. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to pour this on a little bit here, just enough to cover this whole thing. There we go. And then I'll move it around a little bit with our uh, our craft stick. I haven't bought a uh, a palette knife yet. 
I keep seeing them online for Amazon. I stopped by Ben Franklin's the other day and they wanted um, $30 for it. And I mean, that's not a whole lot when you're considered like some of the other things that we get and uh, want to put on our, uh, some of the other stuff we pay for to get with our paintings. But you know what? I just didn't feel like dropping $30 on something that I've seen on Amazon for much, 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 much cheaper. And so I'm still in the moment where I'm not entirely sure uh, if I'm going to get one soon or later. Suck it up, buy it from the craft store, get it from Amazon. I don't know. What do you guys do? I'm just new. So if you're you got some experience in this, let me know. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour uh, two separate spots. Um, I almost did that right over the canvas. I hate paint on my hands. I really should get gloves, but then I'd have paint on my gloves, and I'm sure that would bother me too. Anyway, so um, I want to put on the bottom, I want some of this, this Montana moss. And... Uh, it's a little bit thicker. So what I'm expecting, I'm expecting the thinner paints to um, to splash more and the thicker paints to splash less. So I'm expecting this to stay around close to the middle and then these, uh, these two colors, you know, get them in the frame here. You know what, this is my first time. I figured it would be more fun to uh, just get it going. Uh, next time I'll, I'll figure out the, the camera angle a little bit better. But, um, Oh yeah, so back to the story. Uh, I figured that this will splash less, and so it'll stay near to the middle of one of these spots. So I'll just pour a little bit on there. And then, you know, I made way too much paint. That's all right. All right, get a couple spots there. And I really think that uh, that where this will turn out will do really well or it'll die is um, is getting this these first splotches right so what I'd like to have I'd like to have the bl the uh, the blues kind of heading this way and the oranges heading this way and so I'll put the uh, the orange on this side of that dot and on this side of that dot All right, and then, then here's our rainwater, and uh, I think I put way too much silicone in this. I was trying to do uh, just a drop, and I tilted the bottle for the exact same reason I bought the uh, baby dropper, and um, well, it didn't work. So um, I'm, I don't know, tilt this a little bit. Let's tilt. The, uh, Let's not tilt this. Let's just stay with the game plan. Um, and then I'm going to take this mallet here and I'm going to whack it. And it'll splash how it splashes and it'll be awesome. Or it won't be and that's fine too. Um, so yeah. Now the biggest thing is I really would like it not to get on any of my wife's things. And I really want to sleep in my own bed tonight. So... Um, I might be ginger at first, but then we might get a little crazy. Make a, our own Dexter scene up in this place. All right, so, ah, uh, okay, here we go. Ah! <laughs> I'm wearing more. <laughs> it shot right off, right off. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh man, uh, see, you gotta get it just enough so it splatters. I like this. I'm gonna tilt this in a bit, I'm gonna see how it turns out. I do not like this, so uh, reapply a little bit more, maybe. Let's do that. I'm gonna reapply a little bit more and then smack it again. I mean, I don't see much orange in that, or at all, really. So, um, yeah, uh, whack part three, I'm gonna put my hand up 
cannot believe it went everywhere. This is awesome. My wife is like, it's going to go everywhere. And I'm like, baby, it's, it's not going to go everywhere. What happened? It went everywhere. All right. So, um, yeah, let's just whack it again. I'm going to put my hand next to it. So maybe we can prevent. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So here we go. Ah. Uh. Hmm. I'm going to start tilting and see if anything develops out of that. Cause I'm not really too happy with this business right here. I do like these cells. I think that's very pretty. I like these and what it's that white and blue together. I really think that's pretty awesome, but, um, uh, I'll wipe off my, uh, my mallet here. This is one of my, my work mallets that I, uh, you know, that I work with. And so, um, uh, I think it's not anymore. I think it's now a paint mallet. And let's start tilting this and seeing how it goes. I ha I know I have way too much white on here. Want to torch it first? Man. Yeah, let's torch it first. So I'm using this. Um, this is Benzomatic, and it's a. Uh, it's really cool. It's got the the striker here, and anyway, it's pretty cool. It's got a giant, giant thing, though. I really don't like that. I should get a smaller one. I'm not entirely sure how long this one will last, but... It'll last... As long as it lasts, I suppose. All right, so let's tilt this bad boy and see what kind of develops and... really like to see some of these open up. And you know what? I just realized I'm going to have to recover that. Uh, it's almost like a green spot that you see there. It, uh, man. I do like this lacing over this orange right here. It's kind of developed. I'm not entirely sure what, man. The thing about pouring is you can't, I feel like I can't, I don't have that much, that much input on how my painting is going to look. You know what I mean? It's, I mean, a lot of it looks really cool, but, um, a lot of times I, I'm not entirely sure if it's going to look great before it's done, if it's going to end up being messed up, but, um, yeah, my wife is coming out and, uh, I'm talking to YouTube. So I'm going to hit it with a hammer. On purpose? <laughs> yes, on purpose. Um, Sorry, I didn't realize you were doing that. No, it's all good. So um, negative space, I like that. Um, I like this lacing in a couple places. Um, this brown is kind of mudding up. And you know what? Who knew brown was going to mud up? I know, right? But you know what? Let's draw this out a little bit. Uh, I hate messing with it because I'm never sure if it's going to be great, but let's just do it. It's going to be fun. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Let me get some uh, glue sticks to do this. So anyway, um, this, this thing here is from the dollar store, and you know what? I don't know if I really want to spend a whole lot of money trying to contain my paint, but um, it works. I don't know if I do a new one every single time I paint or or not. But... All right. Um, you know what? I'm not entirely sure what you can see on that um, from the viewfinder. Anyway, let's um, let me finish drawing this out and then I'll get you down so you can see some of these cells. I just want to cover that up. I was seeing the previous thing. Um, I don't think I'm improving it, but I don't know. This is what we're doing. Look at this. I hate paint on my hands. This, is, But this is the most fun way to do it. Let's pull some orange down into this line a little bit. 
four. Mm, it's not going to happen at all. Mm, let's see. I still want that orange, so... Oh, look at this, though. It's so sharp right there. It's I love that. I'm not going to mess with that. Let's mess with the stuff I don't like. Mm, so right here in this center part, there's a bit where I hit everything with my... Eh, with the mallet, and it never really covered back over, so... Mm, maybe we should do a dirty pour with a little bit of this right over that area. Mmm! Man, see, there's so much more pressure with uh, with you guys here. Because otherwise I'd be like, yeah, hey, you know, whatever. I'm only seeing it. If it messes up, it doesn't matter. I mean, let's be honest. Probably no one's going to watch this anyway. However, um, it still feels like it's more pressure. Oh. You know what? I need more blue here. Let's come off this because it almost looks like. I don't know. Does that look more natural? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. And I know somebody's going to say in the comments what I should have done. And I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, you're absolutely right. But as of this moment. Oh, check this out. Totally missed this area up here. I'm going to find some orange uh, through right here. See, this area is a little bit thin on paint. Um, I think next time I'm going to thin down my white a little bit more because I'd like to see it level a little bit better. I don't like this this crazy texture. I'm, I mean, it's fine, but I I don't know. I think it could look better is what I'm saying. Uh, so let's get this orange and feed that into this spot right here next to this, these browns. Mm -hmm. That didn't really do much. I guess I don't have a true orange here. And even, really, even if it did, it's not going to matter that much. I'm not really doing that much when I'm changing that right there. All right, what else were we going to do? Oh, the white up in this piece, in this, this corner right here. So, get that covered so it, at least it somewhat looks like I'm not absolutely messing this up. Um, oh, man, I really like some of these things. I'm going to get you down so you can see. Um, First, I'm doing this with my phone, so I'm going to wipe away all the wet paint because I really don't want paint on my phone, but, uh, yeah. All right, so here we go. I'm close anyway. You know what actually would have been cool? Just to do a little bit of orange on this side, just kind of the way, but a little less orange here. And so, uh, worked on getting the the turquoise, uh, the turquoise, the rainwater, a little bit spread out, and then do a little bit of, of turquoise here and get the the um, the orange or tart orange to spread out a little bit more. I think that would have looked like a more balanced painting. Um, but I was going to get you down. And so let's see this here. If you ever, if you end up seeing my garage, I'm really sorry. Um, it's it's pretty bad. Okay, so um, so some of the parts that I really, really like are up here on this right here. I like how sharp that is, and it's almost feathered over the top of that. And I really like that. Um, I do enjoy this part. You know, when I look at this this piece through the through the viewfinder, some of the things that I see I really like. Um, when I look at it at as a whole, I'm not entirely sure. You know, there's a terrible glare right there. I tried to fix it a little bit, but I'm not entirely sure what I feel about this piece. I think something here is wrong. <sighs> Let's mix a dirty pour. I'm going to dirty pour over that. Why not? Oh, I want to show you. So, yeah, high tops. This is where the paint shot out. Totally didn't expect it. Really fun. Um, there we go. All right, so back on the tripod we go.
All right, so uh, let's just dirty pour a little bit. I pour, I got way too much paint in this, so let's just do, do a little bit of a dirty pour. Uh, oh, that's awesome. See, definitely, it's def. my white is definitely too thick. I spilled the cup and it didn't even pour out. I'm a little thankful that it didn't pour out, but still, I should have made a bigger mess. All right, so as far as mixture goes, this is um, equal parts. Um, uh, we're doing equal parts PVAC glue and uh, paint with uh, this M1 latex paint additive and extender um, to get the right texture. There's no water, and then there's silicone in the browns, the blue, and the orange. Um, a little bit too much in the blue, but what can you do? All right, so this is much better. This would make a mess if I were to spill it. Way better. Okay, so I'm just going to straight up take my white and then get this up a little bit high. A drip a little bit, swirl it around. All right. And then our teal. That's not really teal. Yeah, it is. Could use a little bit more green, maybe, but all right, all right. And last but not least, our Montana moss. And I know this is getting long, so I'll finish this up really soon. So, did I stop it? No, I didn't stop it, man. As you can tell, I am a, a full-on YouTube expert. And this brown is too thick now. And I poured brown right up on my painting. So, I just learned something else right now. Don't mix your paints right above your painting. Today I learned. I'm going to give it a little swirl and dirty it up a little bit. Check that out. How cool is that? And then look what it's doing in the cup here. Uh, let's get that. Uh, ah, there we go. <laughs> I think that's awesome. All right. So anyway, here we go. Um, what were we talking about? I don't like this area. So oh, I know as soon as I do it, I'm not going to like it. You know what? Let's just suck it up. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. It's going to be awesome. I don't know why I did it like that. Didn't really have a plan there. Let's smash it with a hammer. You know what? Let's fill this in too and smash it again with a hammer. I don't even know. Might be awesome. Might be terrible. Let's do it. It's going to be fun. And I'm going to put my hand up there again. So, um, oh, get it. Pretty sure I just ruined it. But like I said at the beginning, this is just, uh, just trying to um, figure it out, learn, do it well. Yeah, I'm going to pour that part off. That's kind of the good thing about pouring acrylics. If you mess something up and you don't like it, pour it off. Well... Let's hit it. This is awesome. And you know, if I completely mess this up, it's not really that big of a deal, to be honest. I'm going to torch it a little bit so we can get those cells opening up. And then maybe... Uh, they'll get even bigger. I think that's actually what I did wrong. I didn't torch it, so um, we have this. This should lace here, and this will open up a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see.
There we go. Some of these things are opening up nicely. Hit this other area real quick. I don't want to do it too much, but... All right, so here, let's see how the rest of this pours out. Now that we uh... <laughs> I just put that anywhere. Okay. I like this area. Don't like this area so much. Let's see what we're going to get. What a learning experience, though. I really didn't expect some of these things to do what they did, and now that they've done it, um, okay, sorry, I, uh, hands are in the way, hands are totally in the way, I actually kind of like what it's starting to do right now, all right. I need to stop playing with this thing. I'm going to totally ruin it. I'm not going to like it at all. And so I'm going to... Oh, actually, some, there's some really beautiful parts to this. I'm going to get you down again now that we've... Uh, now that we've... Now that I've completely, uh, completely jacked our negative space up. But um, I'm going to keep working on... I watched this lady. I saw this lady's paintings. It was absolutely incredible. I have no idea what she did. I want to be just like her when I grow up. Um, yeah, because it was so good. Seriously, she had all this white space. And then she had just layer upon layer. Beautiful, beautiful colors. They were rich and it almost looked like, I don't know, some kind of flower coming up or even... I don't know, butterfly wings. It was incredible. Let me get you down. Let's look at this. And then we will finish it up. All right. So this is what we ended up with. Which, you know, some of that's not horrible. It's not what I was looking for. Well, actually, check down there. That's pretty wild. All right. Love that corner. It's unique. Um, although now that I... I look at this, I can see the canvas right here. I don't like that. But this is leveling out here. I like that. Um, I don't know. What do you think, guys? It's my first one. Good? No bueno? Bueno? All right, guys. I will talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching. If you've stuck with me this long. And we're done.